everyone! Woo! Another English video in my YouTube channel and another video with him! Woo! My boyfriend, wait! Not my boyfriend, it's not my boyfriend, he's my fiance! <laughs> I keep forgetting that, that you're not my boyfriend, it just happened re recently. Yeah, nice. you already forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're engaged. So if you haven't heard about us before, uh, my name is Juliana and I'm from Colombia and... I'm from Brisbane, Australia. And what's your name? My name's Lofi. So we've been together for six and a half years. Mm. Um, we both live in Australia. And since I'm Colombian, um, Loki, of course, had to go to Colombia mm. to see my, my culture, my city, my country. Mm -hmm. And we were actually planning this trip for ages. Yes. So I've, I've been trying to get over there for five years, I think. Yeah. Four or five years, but I either had work or no money. So last year, my only goal was to just save up enough money to go, and I did it. Yeah, we made it. Woo! Before we continue, I just want to say something, and it's that on the last video, I said that if we reach 1,000 likes, I'll give you a haircut. And guess what? What? The video got 1,500 likes. Of course. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we yeah. now need to make a video cutting your hair. How do you feel about that? Great! <laughs> we went to Colombia last year for Christmas um, but Loki spent two months there and I spent three months in Colombia. The reason why I decided to go one month before Loki was because uh, with Loki of course I had to take him around and travel with him and showing him these different touristy stuff because it was his first time in Colombia and me I wanted to share some time with my family first so then you uh, arrived in November uh, yes how was your trip from Brisbane to Colombia long long uh, <laughs> how long was it uh, about 24 hours in total the worst the worst that was the worst part about going over there was just 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 getting there the, the fly from Brisbane to LA is 14 hours mm -hmm. It's too long. But actually your flight was really, really cool because your flight was just 23 hours. It was quicker. Yeah, my flight to Colombia because I traveled through Chile and I chose a cheap flight. It was 34 hours and I actually made a video about it. So if you want to watch how a 34 hour flight is, I'll leave it on the screen somewhere as well. But anyway. So I landed at, at night time. I was so tired. Drove from Cali airport to her, her, her parents place. Ah, because we stayed in Cali. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for the first three days we were in Cali. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Cali, so Cali was like our base. Bueno. So we landed in Cali. We went from Cali to Cartagena, Cartagena to Barranquilla, then we went to Santa Marta, Rio Hacha, La Guajira, came back to Santa Marta, back to Cali, went to Medellin, Guatapé. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Pueblito Guatapé, también. <laughs> mm. So beautiful. Yeah, really, really cool. And we went to Good Popayán month. as well. Ah, Pop Popayán, yeah. So now that you went to Colombia and you actually experienced Colombia, what are those things that you like the most? That's difficult. Because every region, it's, they, offer, they offer something different. If you go to the coast, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of seafood, so like mojarra, the, the coconut rice, the bajanato, um, very tropical, hot. Pretty hot. <laughs> um, you go to the more smaller cities. It's like very personalized. You've got Medellin, which is absolutely beautiful. I was surprised at how beautiful it was actually. Out of all the places I went to, I found that Medellin was probably the most livable for me because it's very similar to what I'm used to. So you could live in Medellin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, definitely. It's beautiful. Um, it's like a metropolis almost. It's, mm -hmm. really, it's really cool. There you have the biggest. Found our paises. <laughs> Got the, uh, ooh, I saw some perreo intenso. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, in Medellin they dance reggaeton mm. a lot. Well, in Cali yeah. we dance salsa. Salsa, it's, it's, <laughs> they're a lot more polite in Cali. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Carly obviously got, got the, the salsa, you got the... Um, sancocho. Oh, of course, oh my god, that was my favourite. The sancocho was my favourite. <laughs> oh, of course, you got, got Deportivo Carly, 
Yeah. America. <laughs> yeah, of course. The football. The football was cool. I got there at a good time actually where it was like finals time. You so. actually went to the game. When we were planning our trip to Colombia, he said that there are a few things that he really wanted to do in Colombia. And one of those things was to go to a game, mm. a football game. Any it, game. I wasn't yeah. happy with. But there was one in particular I really wanted to see and I got to see it. Which one? El Clásico. El Clásico. Um, America. Deport. Yeah. Super Deport. He went with my dad actually. Yeah, that, yeah that, that was cool. So we went to the stadium. So the home team won, Carly won. And it was amazing. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, that was incredible. I've never been to a game with that much. I mean, there was so much emotion mm -hmm. in the game. It was like palpable. You, you, you could feel it. You could cut it with a knife. The energy, and mainly the energy in the fans. For the whole game, they didn't mm -hmm. stop chanting their chants, singing, flares. There was a moment it was at the start of the game, I couldn't even see like far, like two or three meters in front of me because there was that, that much smoke mm -hmm. from all the flares. Like that's how that, that's how excited they were. And something really interesting is that Loki went to this game with my dad. Mm. My dad doesn't speak any English and Loki's <laughs> learning Spanish. There was a moment where he, he was asking me, I thought he was asking me if, if, if I wanted a, a maleta. And I'm like, maleta, I already have a bag. But I didn't realize he was saying, Paleta. Paleta. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> yes, please. No, no, no. A paleta, it's like a nice An ice cream. So let's talk about each of the cities that we actually visit. Yeah. Um, let's just start with Cartagena because that was like our first official trip. Yeah. What did you like about Cartagena? Like, if you have to think about Cartagena, what comes to your mind? Before we continue, Cartagena is a city up north. Mm -hmm and it's really beautiful. It's one of the most touristy cities in... It's on the Caribbean. Yeah, in, of Colombia. Mm. And the thing is that there is a walled city in the middle of the city. So the touristy spot is actually that one, mm -hmm. the walled city. Yeah. But anyway, keep yeah. going. So you got the walled city where they haven't changed well, really, nothing's really changed in terms of like the buildings that are there. They're all still there. So obviously the, the big gigantic wall surrounding it because it used to be like a big fort mm -hmm. for the Spanish. Oh, San Felipe Castillo, mm -hmm. um, Cafe del Mar. The people trying to say stuff on the street, they're intense. Like <laughs> you can't, it's very difficult to say no to these people. You gotta... So the thing is that Loki, he's such a nice guy and he can't <laughs> say no to anything. So if you come and sell something to him, he'll buy it. <laughs> but I know how things work in Cartagena, so mm -hmm. I was always the bad person. Like yeah, I, the bad he guy. was. <laughs> people come to sell things to Loki, and Loki was like, "Ah, this is so cool!" Yeah. And then I was like, "No, <laughs> Loki, no." <laughs> yeah. So the the vendors will hate me. Yeah. But they will love him. They love me. They didn't like you. But they're really good. Like they're really fun. Yeah. Well. Oh man, like especially the the musicians that yeah. just go from tourist to tourist. Mm -hmm. They probably had the most energy out of anyone. So let's go to Barranquilla. Yep. We were there for two days. For two days. Well, one and a half day. It wasn't too much. Like one and a half, yeah. Yeah. We didn't get to explore Barranquilla that much. We mm -hmm. just went to Barranquilla to visit a friend. Yep. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to catch up with him because yeah. it, it, it's my friend. But it was a cool little city. But. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need to spend more time there. Yeah. No, we went we went along the, the waterfront. Was El Malecón. El Malecón was really beautiful. That was cool. There was a Marca Brewery there that was that was, that was nice. Yeah. Um, and the baseball stadium for me was awesome. So when I go back, I have to go see the baseball there. Yeah. Now Santa Marta. <laughs> Santa Marta was fun. Yeah, that was cool. Very relaxed. Yeah, really <laughs> nice. Like the yeah, exactly the 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 vaginata on on the beach. I get it. I get it now. It works. Yeah, it's really nice. Vaginato is a type of music that we have in Colombia, mm. and is played by I guess five people, yeah. and they have accordion. That's how you call yeah, it. Yeah, they're the accordion, accordion yeah. drums. Tambor. They and have to have this one. The ah, yeah. Ch -ch 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 I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know how it is. The rake. Santa Marta, the same, same thing, same, for me it was the same sort of food, I always had fish, so more mojarra. <laughs> yeah, mojarra. I love the food from the coast, mm. it's just a shame that you can't have much because you're allergic. Uh, but I tried the um, sancocho con pescado. Oh, sancocho de pescado, that was yum. Nice. That was yeah. nice. I had to have something different, I, was, I had too much mojarra, <laughs> I needed to change it up. <laughs> La limonada cereza, guapo. Oof. Yeah, yeah, that was delicious. That was amazing. Yeah. I am um, a bit reluctant to, to, to try it at first because it looks very feminine. <laughs> really feminine. It's pink. 
Yeah. But you have one sip, you don't care what color it is, it just tastes so good. <laughs> like, it's so sweet. So usually we will have our meals with lemonade and one day I told him, what if you try something different? What if you try a lemonade, limonada cerezada? And he was like, limonada cerezada? And I'm like, yeah, it's a lemonade with cherries. He's like, no. And I was like, yeah, that guy over there is having a limonada cereza. And he's like, no, that's a pink drink. I'm not going to have it. And I'm like, trust me, once you try a limonada cereza, you're going to keep drinking it. And he's like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. And then since that day, he would have limonada cereza with everything. Yeah, I had a lot. I had quite a few. Just remember, also limonada de coco. Limonada de coco. Yeah. Did you like it? Loved it. That was refreshing. Yeah. Really refreshing. That was good. So between a limonada de coco and limonada de cereza. 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 Yeah. Really good, right? Yeah. yeah. Just because I get this cherry on the top. So Santa Marta, you liked it? Loved it. Yeah? Yeah. Would you go back to Santa Marta? Definitely. Well, I didn't get to go to the Sierra Nevada. Oh. I'll have to go back there because they offered, geez, they probably offered more tours up up around that area than they do up in North Queensland for the Barrier yeah. Reef. That, yeah. There was so many things to see, but yeah. just ran out of time. Yeah, we didn't have time. And like, usually when you go to Santa Marta, the plan is to go to El Parque del Tairona and to Sierra Nevada, but we couldn't do it because we didn't have time. So next time we'll go, we'll have to go there. For next sure. time, let's do it. So after Santa Marta, we went to La Guajira. What yeah. did you like about La Guajira? Rio Acha was cool. Rio Acha was beautiful? Yeah, it was nice. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Very relaxed. Um, the Wagyu bags. Oh, yeah, the Guajyu bags. They're beautiful. They're you really got nice. one, actually. And, yeah, I got one. It's so comfy. It's, now it's my it's my mate bag. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because Loki loves mate, by the way. Yeah. Mate from Argentina. Loki, what do you have on your Wagyu bag? This is my mate bag. Your mate bag. Uh, my, my thermo with hot water. Megod, yes. bombisha, bombisha, and sherba mate. Mmm, que rico. Argentino. Love you, guapo. Have fun. Always get my thermo for a little hot water, my sherba, <laughs> my bombisha, gourd, everything. Get yeah, it it's good. So, Guajira is a very beautiful place up north in Colombia. It's a very rough experience, so just be aware that if you go to La Guajira, it's going to be a very... If you don't mind doing it tough, do it. Yeah. You're not staying in five-star hotels. Yeah. You're not, well, for like half the journey, you might not even be on paved roads. Yeah. Um, but they're usually on dirt tracks. Electricity as well is only used until, I think, ten, like, what, midnight? Really there is no water. Run, running water. They, they got to travel a long, a long way to, to bring it in. When, yeah. they, when they get it in, it's not like you can just turn it on a tap. No, 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 you got to get, like, a bucket. So mm -hmm. you got to be, you got to be, you got to think about the resources well, they got to think about the resources that they have because they're not easily transported out there. So. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an interesting place to visit because uh, it's beautiful because it's where the desert is and mm. where the desert meets the sea. So the landscapes are usually very pretty and also because you get to know more about the indigenous culture, culture in Colombia, mm. which is, well, we got a lot of indigenous tribes, but this one is the Waju, Waju uh, indigenous tribe so you get to know more about them but yeah we had a good time in La Guajira mm -hmm. after that we decided to go to Medellin mm. yeah that was nice I think we were there for what, like a week and a half how was your experience in Medellin loved it it's beautiful really beautiful Medellin the food the plan de paisa oh the pastries oh I love the pastel what was it pastel oh, no, what was it called the pastry with the guava chicharron oh, Chicharron, that I have my best chicharron is there ever. That was, that was the best. I want like every day. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Loki <laughs> got obsessed with this chicharron. Chicharron, or also, a lot of people call it as well pastel gloria de guayaba or de bocadillo. Mm. The chicharron was like his favorite things. Loki está obsesionado con los pasteles de guayaba, los chicharrones de guayaba. <laughs> Toda parte que va, compra uno. El mejor. El mejor? De mi vida. De tu vida. Dice que el de este lugar es el mejor que se ha comido en toda su vida. Since he had it for the first time, he just kept having it every single yeah, day. I had it on. I had, yeah, like almost, almost every day in every city I went to. Yeah. yeah. But What? the best for me was in Medellin. Really? Yeah, because they put the most 
bocadillo in it. Like, I put heaps, <laughs> heaps, pumped it out. Yeah, it's good. It's good. One of the things I remember, we were in Cali and we were asleep. It was like midnight. Close to my house, we have a bakery that is 24 hours. So he would tell me, that, that night he was like, oh, I'm so hungry. Can we go to the bakery to buy some chicharron? And I'm like, no way. There is no way I'm going to go at this time to the bakery to buy some chicharron. Like, the bakery was really closed yeah. and he wanted to walk to the bakery at midnight. No way. In Colombia, <laughs> no way. I'm not going to do that for un chicharron. You, you can go to the fridge and grab something that is on the fridge, but I'm not going to walk at night in the dark to get you a chicharron. No. <laughs> so Medellin, let's talk about Medellin because okay. we did a lot of things in Medellin. We uh, well, we stayed in, we stayed in uh, La Frontera, which was really cool. Uh, we went to man like a bunch of other suburbs that I can't even remember the name because because for me they weren't really suburbs it was just like different parts of the city. One thing about Medellin is that Medellin is a city, but it's also very well connected to like these sort of towns that are not towns because they're too close to Medellin that they are actually part of Medellin. Like you can reach them by car in ten minutes, but they they look like towns. Um, so one of our favorite things to do in Medellin was to, of course, do touristy stuff, but then at night go to the different mm. um, towns yep. like Sabaneta, Envigado. Yep. Um, ah, I remember that place, yeah. Envigado? Yeah, I think that's where. Uh, I think that's actually where I kind of fell in love with the um, cantinas. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like these towns in Envigado, for example. Um, they are still they still look like old towns in Colombia. So the old towns in Colombia They're like they have a church they have like a park and then so around the park they will have like the Like the like the banks and important stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that like a big church a big square around the Around this big garden and yeah, there's like shops and stuff then around this block they will find they will have bars or cantinas <laughs> but the cantinas are like places where older people go to get really drunk <laughs> mm. i didn't know that he was like oh my god they, they it looks so traditional they look like cozy little places where you can just pull up a chair and just have a beer and talk with the locals yeah. I thought, great and the music is very old as well like oh, okay yeah you'll see older people wearing like old traditional clothes as well and like those are places where me as a Colombian I wouldn't go because that's where usually older people go to get very very drunk and mm. and it's not a nice place but Loki he was so happy with yeah. those places well, he was I... like let's have a beer in the cantina <laughs> <laughs> no I enjoyed it it was cool we went to see the lights the Christmas lights ah uh, yeah I remember that and when we were doing that we saw the world's largest buñuelo buñuelo literally yeah. it was like the size of a football like, yeah like like this bigger than my head yeah buñuelo is like a, a bowl of cheese that you can buy in the in a bakery mm. um but it's traditional from colombia and it's delicious did you like buñuelos yeah of course yeah that with uh natilla natilla Oof. that's a typical dish from colombia in christmas time parquejeras parquejeras <laughs> yes there's a place there i can't remember the name but you got you, all they sell are shots but many different types of shots and you can't just drink them like normally no 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 they you they make you play games and if you don't like drink fast enough they'll hit you with this big inflatable hammer and <laughs> you gotta go experience it it's pretty cool there's also a place in in Parque Cheras where there's like at the back you gotta go like through the place down some stairs and then there's a big pool at the back full of plastic balls yeah <laughs> It's like a kid's playground almost, it's incredible. But with drunk people around it. Yeah, with drunk adults, yeah. So that was, was fun actually. That was cool. So in Medellin there is a place, a park called Parque Lleras, mm -hmm. and that's where people go to party because there are a lot of bars around it. However, um, Parque Lleras used to be a really good place before, but now it's kind of not that cool anymore. But, but since I've been in Australia for that long, I didn't know. So we went to Parque Lleras and then we found out that it's not a cool place to go anymore because there are a lot of bad girls. But anyway, we had a good time. Loved it. Yeah, yeah that, that was cool. <laughs> and then we went back to Cali and that's when you actually got to, to experience Cali. 
And it was actually cool because we arrived in Cali when December was starting. We had an amazing time in Colombia during this Christmas celebrations. But uh, we don't want to talk about Christmas because it's just too much, it's too long. But one of the things that we enjoyed the most was Feria de Cali. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. So La Feria de Cali is actually a, a thing that I really wanted Loki to, to enjoy because it's like a, a festival that we have in Cali, my city, after Christmas. So it starts on the 25th and finishes on the 30th. Every single day we will have a party or a parade or a concert. I loved it. Yeah. To be honest, out of, um, well, before actually leaving Australia, that was actually my number one thing I wanted to experience. That was mm -hmm. the thing I was most looking forward to. Yeah. And it, 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 every, it was everything I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Just a massive party. Yeah. For, for five days. So out of all the activities that you did, which one was your favorite? I'd have to say the Tascas. The Tascas? Yeah, so, especially the first day. The parade that went for, for ages, that, that was really cool. Got everyone like in the mood for a party and then you got to go to the Tascas and then mm -hmm. everyone's right into it. It's good. Yeah, Tascas is a place that they, they have a main stage and they have different little bars around it, but it's an open area. But There's table chairs everywhere. Yeah, table and chairs everywhere, yeah. and you're just talking with everyone, dancing with everyone, and yeah. it's, it's really cool, really yeah. fun. It's nice. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. That was really cool. And then after Tascas, we will always go to have... Uh, Senor Bros. Senor Bros. Oh my god, this place. <laughs> this place. It was so... There's something on the menu that I loved so much, I had it every time I went there for like... Yeah, the whole, the whole, the whole time. It's usually 3 4 in the morning. You knew where to find me. I was at, I was at Senor Bros having a nice big Mexicano. Mexicano. So Senor Bros is a restaurant that sells fast food. Uh, you can find hamburgers, hot dogs, everything in there. Um, and the hot dogs and the hamburgers that they sell in in Colombia are completely different to the ones that you find yeah, in Australia. Way different. Way different <laughs> a bit different to the ones you find outside Bunnings. <laughs> How was your your big hot dog? Sausage. It had the different. They had the, like, like the French fries. Lots of um, chimichurri. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that that's what for me. That's what made it amazing. Because mm -hmm. they don't put a little bit. They put. They just go. Like, mm -hmm. It's like yeah. overflowing. To the point where you almost need like a knife and fork to eat it. Really That's good. the thing, the hamburgers and the hot dogs in Colombia are massive. Mm. It's not... <laughs> yeah, it's not, not, not like French food where the portions are like this. It's no. Huge, yeah. And that, that's like, that's good, especially after party. Yeah, you'll never, you'll never be hungry. So then after the feria, we went to Popayan because my family... I'm from Cali, but my family is from Popayan. So one of our tra family traditions is to spend New Year's Eve in Popayan. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what we did. That was really cool. I, um, so, so, so during the day we went for a bit of a walk, a walk around. It's really cool because if you if you watch like um, the series Bolivar, mm -hmm. you can actually see like the, the old bridges that they filmed on and like and, yeah yeah it, it was it was just really nice. Um, had my best cup of the best. I can't remember the name of the bean or whatever, but the best coffee I had was in Papuchan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. And then we came back to Cali. Yeah. And we spent the last few days at home with mm. friends. Yeah, that was nice. I got to go to a few of the uh, different shopping centers and have a look around, get a haircut. That was an experience in, in, in itself. You get treated like a like a king. In, in the haircut? In the, yeah, just get a haircut. Well, well, here, if you go to a to a barber, like a place, like, like, like a men's shop to get your hair cut, um, it's pretty basic, you just go in there, they just go zzz, 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 zzz. yep, done, get out of here, <laughs> Where, whereas there, they um, they really take their time, they pay a lot of attention to detail, yeah, you get to get, have your hair washed, get your, your head massaged, I almost fell asleep in the chair when the lady was giving my head a massage, and it's actually cheaper than in Australia, I couldn't believe that, I mean, yeah. for the service, I would expect to pay at least like twice the amount here, but yeah, yeah it was Pretty cheap. Did you have a good time in Colombia? Yeah, I did. There's Would still, you go back? Absolutely. There's still plenty I didn't that I wanted to do, didn't get to do, like go to Manazales, Pereira, Sierra Nevada, Bogota. Ah, we went to Salento. We didn't talk about Salento. Ah, uh, yeah. But well, Salento. We love Salento. Salento is a place that you have to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Sorry, sorry, Salento. We, oh, man, we did, we did, we did so much there. Yeah. Valle del Cocora. Uh, oh, Taje. Taje? 
लगता है तेहो 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 ही प्ले तेहो दैट वाज सो मच फन यू लाइक इट या इट लाइक द द द गन पैर व्हेन यू व्हेन यू कैन एक्चुअली हिट इट्स रियली हार्ड टू टू गेट टू प्रोड्यूस दैट बट व्हेन यू गेट इट इट इज सो लाउड या Like it, every time I went off, you don't get. Oh, I didn't get used to it. Every time I jumped like a foot in the air, it was so loud. But yeah, that, the 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 tejo, the uh, what was it? Baje, Baje Kokoda. Kokoda, that was really cool. I, I I think next time I'll I'll do it again. But I'll definitely want to like get ready for the big like six hour hike. Yeah. To maybe maybe see a condor maybe. Yeah. yeah. And the trucha, the trucha in Jalisco was really good. Con. Uh, ajillo, ajillo, pastrucha al ajillo, yum. Oh my god, amazing! It was yeah. that good. I had it both days. I was there for lunch. Yeah. It was so good. And again, it was one of the biggest pat patacón I've ever seen. When we went to to Popayán, we also went to another place where the traditional dish is trucha. Ah, we went to Silvia. Silvia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So beautiful. That's where another indigenous tribe lives. lives. Guambianos. Los Guambianos. Yeah. And we actually dress up as yeah, the Guambianos. Yeah, we dress up as the Guambianos. Yeah. yeah. I love the Guambianos. Me They're too. so nice. I, like, I, I remember seeing a little teeny tiny, like a, the, a, a child that was maybe like one foot tall wearing the Guambiano outfit, a little cape yeah. and the hat. Gorgeous. So like, cute. So cute. Yeah. And, really cute. And we look really cute on the on the Guambiano outfit. Too. Yeah. That was nice. And the trucha was really Delicious. nice. Delicious. I think the trucha in in Silvia is one of the best truchas I've ever had because they smoke the trucha mm. first and then they fry the trucha. It's freaking delicious. But they also catch it. They catch it. Yeah, you catch that, it there. You catch it right there. Like the rivers, the river feeds these like these little uh, pools, which hold I don't know. Like, Thousands of trout. There's so much trout, and you just go, whatever you catch, basically you, you keep, and uh, so you pay for it. They'll cook it for you, smoke it for you, fry it for you, however you want. They'll cook it any way you want, and then they'll serve it up, and it's it's good. Good. If an Australian is watching this video, mm -hmm. what would you recommend if they want to go to Colombia? Do it. Do it. Yeah, of course, do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like if you want to go see some cool, cool nature stuff, there's plenty of it. There's still heaps that I want to do, and I just just ran out of time. Food's great. Be, be prepared. You'll probably gain a few kilos. I like do. us. Yeah. <laughs> like us. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah. I hope you guys are safe at home, washing your hands and taking care of your health. If you like the video, guys, give it two thumbs up. Woo! Ah, oh, guys, if you like the video, subscribe. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to watch the next one where I'm actually gonna give him a haircut. Thank you, guys. Uh, Ciao.